Although numerous diseases and conditions involve a dog's spine, this program investigates those most closely related to the development of or mimic osteoarthritis. These include Hansen type 1 and type 2 disc diseases, cervical spondylopathy, known as Wobbler syndrome, degenerative lumbosacral stenosis, known as cauda equina syndrome, and discospondylitis. Vertebral instability with associated articular facet arthritis and spondylosis is common to each condition. Hansen type 1 disease represents a herniation of the nucleus pulposus into the spinal canal as a result of trauma on the spine causing a ruptured annulus fibrosis and a compressed spinal cord. In chondrodystrophic breeds, such as dachshunds, beagles, and miniature poodles, chondroid metaplasia occurs in the nucleus pulposus within the first year of life. The disc becomes less viscoelastic and functional. With repeated forces on the disc, it can acutely rupture at its weakest point, dorsally, into the spinal canal with marked velocity and force, resulting in a Hansen type 1 IVD protrusion. The intervertebral discs are analogous to jelly roll structures with a gelatinous center within a fibrous ring that are located below the spinal cord and form cushions between adjacent bony vertebrae that allow movement, absorb and minimize shock, and unite vertebral bodies. Age-related metaplastic degeneration of the discs results in significant changes in their biochemistry and biomechanics. In chondrodystrophoid dogs, disc failure is often manifested by complete rupture of the dorsal annulus ligament, its thinnest section, and an explosive upward extrusion of a large volume of nuclear material, with resultant trauma to and crowding of the spinal cord. Although similar to Hansen type 1, Hansen type 2 disease is much less severe, causing only a slightly compressed spinal cord with protrusion into the spinal canal but an unbroken annulus fibrosis. A Hansen type 2 disc extrusion develops differently. As the disc degenerates over time with aging, a slowly progressive fibrous metaplasia of the annulus occurs. A protrusion of the annulus crowds into the spinal canal, causing the clinical signs. Dogs afflicted with Hansen type 2 disc disease generally demonstrate less severe clinical signs because there is no acute impact of the disc onto the spinal cord. In non-chondrodystrophoid dogs, intervertebral disc degeneration occurs later in life, generally causes less severe signs, and manifests a different metaplastic process. Partial rupture of annular bands occurs with a dome-like herniation of the dorsal annulus and nucleus disc protrusion against the spinal cord. Cervical spondylomyelopathy is a spinal disorder recognized most commonly in Dobermans, Great Danes, and other large breed dogs. It is a complex condition causing spinal cord compression as a result of developmental vertebral canal stenosis, vertebral instability, or more commonly, secondary soft tissue abnormalities. Its clinical signs vary in severity from mild to severe and its etiologies are speculative. Theories favor genetic and nutritional factors as causal. Abnormal development of the cervical vertebrae or the concomitant abnormal articulation of these vertebrae may compress the spinal cord directly. More commonly, these features produce spinal cord compression by inducing secondary changes, primarily in the soft tissues of the intervertebral disc, the interarcuate ligament, the articular facets, or any combination. Cervical pain is characteristic of this disease, which is often accompanied by progressive ataxia to tetraplegia. Most commonly seen in medium and large breed dogs, especially German Shepherds, degenerative lumbosacral stenosis, also known as cauda equina syndrome, is the most commonly presented lumbosacral condition in dogs. Degenerative lumbosacral stenosis is a process whereby the substantial forces placed on the lumbosacral joint result in injury to the region. This injury causes degeneration of the disc, bone production, spondylosis, and soft tissue fibrosis. Any or all of these can occur concurrently, 
resulting in neurological signs and pain from pressure on the nerve roots. The lumbosacral joint acts as a hinge between the mobile vertebral column and more stiff sacrum and pelvis. Changes associated with disc degeneration and Hansen type 2 protrusion cause a degree of vertebral canal narrowing. Pain in dogs with degenerative lumbosacral stenosis may originate from stimulation of receptors in the annulus fibrosus, stimulation of receptors in ligaments, periosteum or joint capsules, irritation of the spinal cord dura, or entrapment or ischemia of nerve roots. Discospondylitis refers to an infection of an intervertebral disc and the surrounding subchondral bone and is a common differential for intervertebral disc disease. The most common causal microorganisms are Staphylococcus, Streptococcus, and Brucella, as well as fungal organisms. Brucella should be ruled out immediately due to its zoonotic potential. The condition develops from the emergence of organisms gaining access to the disc space and vertebrae by hematogenous spread, migration of foreign bodies, or iatrogenic infection. Radiographs are necessary to identify the condition, although these findings may lag as much as six weeks behind clinical signs. This infection responds well to first-generation cephalosporins or beta-lactamase-resistant penicillin drugs. Discospondylitis is a destructive lesion of intervertebral discs and vertebrae. Diagnosis is usually based on characteristic radiographic findings of disc space collapse, bone lysis in the vertebral end plate, and a variable component of bone proliferation and end plate sclerosis. Any vertebral segment can be affected, but mid-thoracic and L7-S1 are common sites. Clinical signs of discospondylitis often mimic those of intervertebral disc disease.